the Intuitive Message Channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Friday, January the 17th, 2014. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch this video, to retweet it, share it, post it, view it, um, subscribe, become a fan, do all the good stuff we do on social media to build a quality community of like-minded individuals around the globe. So I woke up this morning and I turned to Fabian and I just said, it is going to be a beautiful day. And he goes, it is. So start your day off with that positive intent. If your feet hit the floor after getting out of that bed and you go, oh God, oh. you know, you just set one of the biggest intentions of your day. I mean, that is like, you know, that's like starting a, uh, it's like you're going to make a birthday cake and the first thing you do is piss in it, you know, or take a shit in it. There ain't no way you can get those ingredients out of there once you start cooking the cake. So start off with something beautiful and wonderful and, you know, matter, dig deep. I know you can do it. <laughs> I know you can do it. And the cool thing is today, number 17, that is a star card that is about hope things re being reborn, rebuilt, um, you know, especially after the 16 energy of yesterday, which is lingering. I'll talk a little bit about that. But also, there's Sheldon over in the corner, but also um, 17 boils down to number eight, which is strength card, which is finding that strength and that willpower within you. Beautiful number. It's kind of a passive strength as well because it is an even number, number eight. Also, you add all the numbers up, you're going to get the number 16, which is from yesterday's energy. Lingering is what it feels like to me. 16 tower, wiping it clean. So you know what? Let's use this hope. Wipe that slate clean. Use our strength. And also use the number 7 energy because the entire adding up all the numbers, 1, 17, 20, 14, is going to give you 16. And 1 plus 6 is 7. That's chariot. That's the energy of the whole year, 2014. And that is quick, fast moving energy, decisions being made, often very polarized ones. You know, it's pretty black and white, there's not a whole lot of gray area. When I read that card, I just felt Sheldon touch me down, down below. He's below my, y'all wanna see him? Come here, Shelly, come here, come on. What are you doing? You wanna say hi to everybody? Hi, hi buddy. So, and this is Sheldon. He's 13 years old. Oh, he's looking right in. The, that's you in the camera. It is. Usually, he doesn't ever look in the mirror or anything like that. So that is you. But he's 13. He's such a sweet little boy. You see all the gray coming in. So anyway, energy of today. I, and Tiffany's there going, why aren't you picking me up? Why aren't you picking me up? So energy of the day. I'm going to put you down, buddy. So you can go in the back. Good boy. Good boy. She's right there going, <laughs> she's been in the spotlight so many times. So enjoy that energy of the day. Let me pull a Lenormand card, see what area we're in, um, and go from there. So tower card. So often this card, are it's a number 19 card, and the tower can be, you know, government, corporations. It can represent church sometimes, institutions, universities, kind of big business, um, hospitals, airports, places, you know, things like that. It's different than the energy of Tower yesterday. So this is where the, the energy uh, differs from Lenormand and Terra. So we're in the realms of our work, our institutions, our learning places, um, our, the big business, you know, that area of life. You know, so with all this energy going on, keep that in mind when you're in your workplaces. And your home could be your workplace. <laughs> so that would be the home card, though. I will stick with Lenormand tradition here. And let's go with balance and justice. So this is... Um, number 11, so great master number energy here. And this card, the justice card, is about bringing things into balance. It often can represent legal things. Uh, this card for me will often be about, you know, kind of like karmic uh, justice coming back into play. But also it can just be about bringing things back into balance. It can represent Libra people as well. Uh, but it's just a very powerful card in the sense of the, the number 11 because that's that master number um, also boils down to number two which is our high priestess so she knows the law she is very wise has knowledge very intuitive kind of a soul so all that being said hey you know what if you missed um this last week's blog talk radio show that i had with joanna davis a life coach personal trainer massage therapist check that out i just posted that on my facebook pages that you can listen to the archive version of that she is amazing she started asking the hard questions so um listen to that if you ever want to book a private session with me via youtube or skype any meeting is a platform that i'm going to start using to record things so i'm going to do it for just part of the uh, package for now eventually it'll be part of um, a different package 
but um so check that out featured spread of the month month is the house of life cards uh this sunday night cosmic caffeine on blog talk radio from 7 to 9 p.m next weekend the 25th 26th i will be here in orlando at the casa expo Big Expo, um, uh, Carrie Nola and Lloyd Burnett are going to be there from Go Deeper, Go Lighter. Jennifer Hornberg, Brian Hornberg, they're going to be there from uh, the Center of Wellness that's opening up next month. Um, who else is going to be there? I'm thinking of Rhonda Rosa is going to be there. Feng Shui, a friend. Uh, I think Shantae McAlvin is going to be there. Um, Toby Ellison going to be one of the readers. Um, Molly McCartney is going to be there. I'm trying to think of who else that I know is definitely going to be there. Fabian. Fabian's going to be there with his pottery. So um, come see us. It's all day, like 9 to 5, Saturday and Sunday. So much going on. Vikasa, V-I-K-A-S-A, expo.com. So check that out. Very excited about this first year. Plan on having a big turnout. Again, they've got some great sponsors. Um, Felicia and Andrew have done an amazing job. Namaste to you all. Have an amazing day because it is. It is a beautiful day. I'm setting that intention with you. So I will see you soon. Have a good one.